Biden and Bernie Sanders are on a mission to secure the support of minority voters ahead of... Introduce himself to African-American voters. He, Clinton, who will be vying for the African-American vote there. Etc. Uh, he's spot on. But I think Bernie's challenging the black community. People don't know it. Enough with this nonsense. Check this shit. In 1961, Bernie went to college in Chicago and was a member of the Congress of Racial Equality chapter on his campus. In that same year, he led a 15-day sit-in at the principal's office of the University of Chicago because of its president's segregated housing policy. After realizing Bernie wasn't fucking around, the university president, George Beadle, formed a commission to investigate the racial policies for housing and put Bernie on the commission. Then, after promising change, George Beadle didn't do shit about it, so Bernie exposed him in the student newspaper for all to see. In 1962, he led a picket rally at a Howard Johnson restaurant after 12 core members had been arrested for trying to eat at one. Around this time, the dean of his university asked him to take some time off because his activism was making his grades suffer. Bernie said, zero fucks given. August 28, 1963, Bernie Sanders walked beside Martin Luther King Jr. in the March on Washington. A few days later, Bernie was on the city's south side protesting school segregation when he was charged with resisting arrest and fined $25, which with inflation is like $7.2 trillion in today's money. Modern civil rights leader Michelle Alexander released an article for The Nation titled Why Hillary Clinton Doesn't Deserve the Black Vote, showing how the Clintons, who were trying to win back the racist white votes in the South, adopted the right-wing narrative that black people ought to be disciplined with harsh punishment rather than coddled with welfare. And they both went on to lobby for harsher laws that destroyed the black community after that. In her support for the 1994 crime bill, for example, she used racially coded rhetoric to cast black children as animals. Not just gangs of kids anymore. They are often the kinds of kids that are called super predators. No conscience, no empathy. We can talk about why they ended up that way, but first we have to bring them to heal. But first we have to bring them to heal. But first we have to bring them to heal. Who's a good boy? Is that the Hillary Clinton black people should vote for? Fuck no. She was bankrolled by the private prison industry all the way up until October of last year when she made the announcement that she would stop accepting their donations and said she wanted to end private prisons. Well, check this shit. She did it because Bernie Sanders had, a month before, put forward a bill called the Justice Is Not For Sale Act that would kill all private prisons within three years. And guess who was getting that September shine? Not her. In a country where African Americans are imprisoned at nearly six times the rate of white people, the only reason Hillary Clinton dumped her prison industry ties was because it was politically expedient. She doesn't give a fuck about black America. Black Lives Matter launched Campaign Zero, detailing 10 strategies to put an end to police brutality. At the bottom of their own campaign site, they show how each candidate stands with their proposals, and guess who does better? Bernie, I love motherfucking Justice Sanders.